if you've taken a walk on one of our beautiful Eastern Cape beaches, you've probably seen one of these. This is the shell of an animal called a sea urchin, which looks like this. They may look like aliens, but they are very important here down on Earth because they help keep our urchins healthy by eating small bits of plant and animal matter. We've long since relied on our urchins' resources for food security, which is ensuring that we have food for generations to come. Unfortunately, food security is threatened by climate change because it threatens the animals on which we rely's survival by changing the climate in which they live, sometimes beyond the point of no return. Food security is important because the natural resources that we rely on, for example, fish in the ocean, can become depleted, which in case we have to rely on a different species, which is where the humble sea urchin comes in because it and its eggs are in fact already used for food in some countries. To help keep our oceans healthy and functional and our futures bright, we have to be able to identify beautiful sea urchins, which is the aim of my PhD study. So in which ways must urchins be beautiful? First of all, they have to be beautiful on the outside. Beauty on the outside means that they are healthy. I look at their health, by measuring certain things like their weight, the spine length, and the urchin width. Second of all, they have to be healthy on the inside. Health on the inside means that their gut is healthy. To determine whether their gut is healthy, I look at the species of bacteria that live in their gut the same way that bacteria live in our gut. Thirdly, you have to have beautiful babies which we call larvae. Beautiful larvae are strong, resilient and healthy. I determine the health of these larvae by looking at their metabolic processes under different conditions. These conditions mimic predictions of what our oceans will look like in 50 and 100 years time in terms of temperature. Lastly, to have beautiful babies, you have to get to know your neighbours. I look at sea urchin, sea urchin relatedness by looking at how the populations on the east, south, and west coasts are related using DNA studies in a field called phylogeography. This generates an image that looks like this, called a phylogeographic tree. This helps me understand how urchins are related. Using this multidisciplinary approach, I can determine which are the ultimate populations and the champion species which we can rely on to culture sea urchins for food security in the future. Thank you.